how to block various YouTube channels without any sort of plugins or extra programs. Hey James here. In this video I'm going to show you how to block channels and comments from showing in your video feed. I will also show you how to block certain comments from showing up in any of your videos that you do not want them to show up. And this can be extremely satisfying. First off, YouTube definitely doesn't make it super easy for you to completely and totally block channels from appearing anywhere in your feed at any time, especially when you don't want them. So when that one video follows you around everywhere and you just don't want to hear anything from that channel, now's the time whenever you can block it, you can disable it, and you don't have to have it following you around forever and ever. So let's jump into the computer and I'm gonna get on my, show you on my desktop exactly how you can do this and what buttons to click. There's gonna be a little secret toward the end too, so please stick around. And if you get any value, please click the like and subscribe below. Thanks, see you in a minute. Okay, this is my third time recording how to block a channel. So, I've been seeing this. This is the one I used for my last one. Um, it's doing very well, but let's say this is following me around and I want to block this channel completely. Then what you can do is go here to the action menu. This is what it's called and go not interested or do not recommend channel. Don't recommend channel. So on not interested, it's kind of vague because what it, what it'll do is it'll say you're not interested in die. Danny J, or that you might not be interested in YouTube shorts or workflow type things. So the true way to block it as a channel is to do not recommend. And now in your video feed, it will not show that anymore. Now I don't have a reason to block this channel, but let's say there's a video that is coming up constantly. You're sick of seeing it in your feed all the time, then that's how you can get rid of it. Now the only caveat is that um, when I go to search, if I was to search Danny J, even if I blocked her, she's still going to show up here. Not like I would ever really want to block her anyway. So let's talk about the next thing. The other way to do it would be to come over to her main channel page, go to the about section right here, and then find this little flag. And then you can block user here and that'll block them from being able to comment, being able to be seen in the, in the newsfeed and everything. I always recommend using these type of things lightly. Reporting, user profile art, channel art. Block user is one thing. That might hurt the analytics a little, but you know, only if it's they're putting out so much content and you and you really want to get the the algorithm off you on that one. Now let's focus on inside your own dashboard. And let's say you want to block a comment or delete it, block it, block a user. This is how you're going to be able to do that. So this is like your little incarceration center for comments. So what you can do is go to this. What's it called? An action menu. Here we hear that the three little dots, the hashtag looking thing. No, it's your action menu, but we'll say three little dots. You can delete it or remove it, report it if it's really, really bad and hide user from channel. And what this does is it hides user from the channel. And all this can be done completely on mobile as well. So if you were to come over on mobile, now it doesn't want to, my mouse doesn't want to work. So you can come over here on, on the mobile, go to the about, do the same thing. You can go to the main YouTube screen while you're on mobile, click the action menu. Don't recommend channel and it's the exact same thing. But while we're over here, we can also hide the user from channel. And the beauty about this is the user doesn't know that he's been sort of 
Shadow, shadowy Lee band. I don't like using that word, but it hides the user from the channel. And so the channel is only visible to that person. So it doesn't make them mad. They can still see their comment. So they think that they vented out their frustration or whatever. And you still technically get credit for the comment, I believe, the engagement. And you can also approve, uh, auto approve from certain people. So another way to do it is on the video itself. If you're scrolling through your own video and you see one of these, then you can do the exact same thing. Now, while we're in here in the YouTube studio, this is where I'm at. It's the YouTube studio. Well, I guess it just took me out because I was already in it. Let's go to the YouTube studio and we're going to go down to comments. So that's where we were as comments. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to the community tab and this is where you can see your hidden users to know how many that you've had to do that to and you can also add them so this is definitely your own little personal you know confinement center to certain people and also where you can redirect and also have block words so if there's a word that i didn't want to be seen ever in my comments these would be blocked and you can comma separate them. Not going to finish. Comma. It's done. Blockhead. A dunce too far. So we don't need to do that. But when you did it, you would just go down. And you had one in there. Hit save. And then, then those words are blocked. So there's that part. Hope that helps you out. Okay, so like I said, this is a pretty good way to get rid of all the channels that you don't want to see, the comments that you don't want to see at all that you want blocked. You know, and the best part is, is a lot of times they don't even know they're blocked. So they can still comment, they can still see their own comment, but they are not hindering you in any way. They're not influencing the audience in any kind of bad way. So if you, once again, if you found any value at all, Please like the video, share it, subscribe it, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.